planting the tree is pretty much the same. Uh, the type of trees, yeah, it's a lot different. So we're planting like a lot of different species here, whereas with forestry, it's just one singular species. The spacing's a little bit different, but we use the same tools. So we use these potapukis. If the ground's a bit harder, then we'd use spades. Unfortunately, the soil's not quite good enough to establish good pasture. And especially after we bought the property uh, in the 80s when the rainfall dropped right off, um, it became practically useless for grazing. Very, very light, light stocking rates here. We've planted, yeah, 130,000 plants into this landscape with the aim of storing carbon and improving the biodiversity outcomes for the state. In previous years, we were getting, you know, over a thousand hectares a year to plant. Uh, this year, um, I've worked predominantly down the hill and we got 50 hectares, which is a dramatic difference. So picking up this kind of work, it's excellent. It creates new opportunities for us as planters. Well, just in our company alone, in peak times, we had up to 40 to 50 people, we're down to about um, 10. And um, just in the last two weeks, that was culled, culled down to about five or six of us. Actual returns um, from the bio sequestration of carbon, um, we have an arrangement where we take a percentage of those returns in conjunction with Greening Australia. Restoration plantings that we've looked at in the past are growing at about five to eight tonnes of carbon or uh, 12 to 18 tonnes of CO2 equivalents per year. So we use this tool here called the Potapuki. Um, basically we put the tree in there and then we just put it in the ground and the pitter releases it. So it's in the deep ground nice and deep and then we just stamp it up. It is a skill, like you get new people, it takes them at least, you know, two or three weeks to um, learn how to do it, but then it takes them, you know, another month or two to get the speed up because you want the plants in quick before they dry out. And so this is just opening up a great opportunity for, for us silviculturalists. Yeah, you know, it's um, a lot more trees to plant, which is good. And um, by the sounds of it, it's for a better purpose as well. <laughs> the trees aren't going to get cut down, they're, they're going to last. and it's. Um, It'd be good to see that um, end result, you know, in 30, 40 years, you know, these trees that we've, we've put in and show our children, and yeah, it'll be great.